Hi, I'm Natalie Critchley from nataliecritchley.com. Today's question is, why would you want to start an online business? But before we get to the answer to that question, I need you to do me two favors. One, hit that subscribe button so you can continually get videos uh, into your feed. I'd love to share my, my content and give you some value and answer your questions about online marketing. And two, hit that notifications bell and so it'll media alert you when a new video is up. Okay, so let's get started. Let's get right into this. Why would you want to start an online business? Well, most people want something, but they're not sure what it is they want. And there's lots of opportunities to earn some extra income, right? It might be network marketing. It might be a part-time job. Um, it just may be doing something you're passionate about that might not make you quite as bit of money, but you're happy doing it. For me, an online business was something I was looking for. I have tried to make money online for the longest time, and it just didn't work for me. But after a breakthrough, I finally broke through, I was able to make my first dollar online. And I can't even tell you how happy that made me. It was like, oh, eureka, right? I mean, it just took so long to get there, but we all start someplace, right? And it's, it's each of our own journey. So this question, why would you want to do it? is the question I'm posing to you. Because if you're on this video, you might be thinking about it. So seven popular reasons why people say yes to the idea. One, you can start part-time, right? That's a huge benefit for most people. They can continue to work their full-time job, work their business a couple hours a week on the side, side gig, little side hustle, um, and save their money, put their money back into their business. Uh, that's very, very important for a lot of people to start part-time to work up to that full-time. Number two, no inventory. This was big for me because having done network marketing in the past in a lotion, potion, pill company, I always had product and I wasted so much money on product and I didn't want to do that again. I love network marketing, but I just didn't want that type of network marketing business. Number three, a lot of people don't have a college degree. A lot of people don't have any special certification. So with that being said, to get started online, all you need is your ability and your determination. And those two things can take you anywhere. But you gotta have the discipline, the determination, and the ability to take action. You won't need a college degree for that, but that's what you need to get started online. Number four is that low cost startup. Low cost for the products and service. Sometimes the low startup can be a hindrance because you get into it and it's like a hobby right? You, you, a few hundred bucks and it's a business, but you don't treat it like a business. So the bottom line is the low cost entry is very popular for most people because you can get started online. Some for less than a hundred bucks, some for hundreds of dollars, some for thousands of dollars. It just depends on what type of product or service you're looking to promote and sell to other people online. So you have a variance there, but for the low cost entry is really, really popular. The no cap on potential earnings, that was really unpopular to me. I mean, I wanted to know that I could make as much money as I potentially could make, right? I was a good employee. I was a great employee. But when I was laid off in 2015, I realized that now is my chance, right? I was 55 years old, wasn't quite sure what I was going to do next, but I knew I didn't want to go back to a job with a cap on my earnings. And at my age, I'm pretty sure there would have been a cap, right? So at the time, when I started looking again online, it was just the right time for me. And it was the kick in the ass, excuse my French, that I needed was being laid off and making this thing work, right? And, and that's what prompted me to really put the pedal on the metal and just get over all my fears and just do it. So number five was very important to me. Number six, no employees to manage, no salaries to pay, no insurance, you know, that's, that's that franchise model, that's owning a restaurant, that's owning a retail store, that's small business. I just didn't want any part of that. I wanted to be able to sell in my sleep. I wanted to be able to make money when I was doing anything, whether it was working out in the gym, it's just a matter of me doing the right work, driving traffic, and voila, sales appear. I want to be able to travel. I want to be able to retire early. I want to be able to retire my spouse early. So those were the really big important things for me as well. So 
that no cap and not having to worry about anybody else but myself because heck, I can barely manage myself some days. So that was super important. Number seven is probably the most important uh, work from home is by far the most important of probably all of these plus any others you can think of because most people want flexibility. They want to be able to have a flexible opportunity to do what they need to do, to make the money they need to make, to be able to run to you know, uh, kids soccer, to be able to run to have lunch with their child at school, to be able to go to the high school graduation, to be able to go to college setup. I mean, whatever the case may be, when you're an employee working that 40 hour a week job and you have a boss, you don't necessarily have an opportunity to leave and do those things, right? You might not want your kid in daycare. You might want to be home. You might have an elderly parent that you're caring for now. You might want to be home. So working from home is a big, 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 big reason for a lot of people. So those seven reasons are the biggest reasons for starting a business online. And, you know, for, for those of you out there watching, you know, if you're looking at an online business, there are lots of online businesses to look at. You can become an affiliate marketer. You can work for, you can sell products for Amazon. You can sell products on Facebook Marketplace. You can be crafty and sell on Etsy. There are numbers of things you can do. It just depends on what you're passionate about and, and what you're interested in. And that's the key, right? That's the absolute key. So I hope I added some value. I hope I gave you some things to think about. If you're looking at starting an online business, have some questions. You can, um, I have my Facebook link below. You can PM me on Facebook. I'm happy to answer any questions. If you're interested in what I'm doing, my link down there for my number one money earning opportunity is below. Um, but let's definitely connect. And I look forward to seeing you on other videos. Thanks so much.